Today we want to look at Bronsted-Lowry examples of acids and bases and we're going to take reactions and actually identify the acid, the base, the conjugate acid and the conjugate base. Now if you recall a Bronsted-Lowry acid is a proton donor and a base is a proton acceptor. So when I look at this first one, if you notice the H, when it comes to this side, it loses the H. So it's donating an H. So this is the acid, which automatically means your other reactant has to be the base. Now, what happens over here? How do you know which one's a conjugate acid and how do you know which one's a conjugate base? Well, just think about it. If it's an acid on the left, it has to be a base on the right. So its partner over here is going to be a conjugate base and the other one is going to be a conjugate acid. So based on just one, why don't you try this one first on your own, come back and see if you got it right. So when I look at this one right here, I notice that the H2O and the OH go together because they look about the same. And I notice that the OH is missing the H. So we know again this one's going to be an acid because it's donating a proton and we know that this one is going to be the base. So we said the acid tags up with the OH, so that means this is the conjugate base and this is the conjugate acid. So now we have two final examples. I want you to try each one of these, come back and see how you did. So on C, I'm looking at it, I notice that this one right here, it's going to accept a proton on the other side so it's going to be a base and that means the other reactant is automatically an acid so this one belongs with the base so this is the conjugate acid and this is the conjugate base now on the bottom one what do you notice well I notice that the water in this case it gets, an, gets more H's so that means it's a base and that means that the carbon carbonic acid is an acid. So this is its pair, so it's a conjugate acid and it's a conjugate base.